In this video, we're going to talk about proving that the volume of a, you know, a sphere is actually uh, of 4 pi r cubed. Now, the idea is that if I uh, slice this up into a disk, right, and my drawing is not perfect, but if I slice this up into a disk, disk what I actually forms is a circle. Now, the radius of the circle is from the center to the outer bound. We already know that which is some distance r, right? Now we know the area of a circle. So the area of a circle is pi r squared, right? We know the area of a circle is pi r squared. So if we integrate this, we would actually find the volume. So if we integrate from some arbitrary number, negative r to r of pi r squared dx, we will actually find the volume, right? Now, what is our r? What is our r? That's what we got to find out. Well, we know that well, we know the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. If I need to integrate with with uh, with respect to x, I have to get um, y is equal to some that some some number, right? I have to get y is equal to some number because y is actually what I'm plugging in for r, right? Another way of writing this, even though it does not look correct. Um, the volume of negative r to r is pi y squared dx. Now, I just put the y there just to show you that uh, my y is actually what I'm plugging in for r squared. So don't get it confused. Personally, I do not like this notation, but I, I just did that just to illustrate. All right. So if I move everything over to the one side and solve for y, then y is going to be equal to square root of r squared minus x squared. Right. So now I have my y, I could just go and plug into my formula. So the volume is going to be the integral from negative r to r of pi times the square root of r squared minus x squared squared dx. Now we know about uh, math, we know that the square root and the square term gets cancelled. So the volume is going to be equal from negative r to r of pi r squared minus pi x squared dx. And all I did was just uh, uh, distribute my pi. Now, I could just go ahead and take the integral of this. I could go ahead and take the integral of this, right? So if I integrate this, the integral of pi r squared, a uh, pi r squared is just pi r squared x minus the integral of uh, pi r, uh, pi x squared. That is just one third pi x cubed. And this will be all integrated from negative r to r. Now, this being said, I could go ahead and factor out my pi. So if I factor out my pi, this becomes r x squared minus, and I'm going to put my, I put my three over the, the, the pi x squared just to make it a little bit more clean. So this becomes pi, uh, not pi, but x cubed over three. All right, all integrated from negative r to r. All right. So that being said, I could just go ahead and plug and chuck. So start plugging in numbers. This becomes pi multiplied by this whole thing here. So this becomes uh, r squared times r minus r cubed over 3. All right. And this is minus r squared times negative r minus negative r cubed over three, all right? Now, if I simplify this, be this becomes pi times r cubed minus r cubed over three, uh, parentheses, this becomes negative r uh, cubed Plus, well, because a negative, uh, a negative cubed is just a negative. Well, a negative times a negative is a plus. So that's r cubed over 3. Right. Now, if I find common denominators, I multiply this by 3 and I multiply this by 3. This becomes pi times uh, 3r cubed minus r cubed over 3. Now, if we distribute my negative, if I distribute my negative, this becomes 
um, plus r cubed minus r cubed over three. All right. Now, if I find common denominators, this becomes three, this becomes three. So, well, this becomes pi times, well, three r cubed minus r cubed is just two r cubed over three. All right, and then r cubed minus, well, okay. So, well, three r cubed minus um, r cubed is just two pi, uh, just, just two r cubed. So, this becomes plus two r cubed over three. All right, and this is equal to pi. On the outside, if I multiply, if I add, since I have common denominators, it becomes four r cubed over three. All right, and then if I simplify, if I uh, distribute my pi, this becomes four thirds pi r cubed. So we just proved our theorem.